Welcome back, Libra. This will be a how do they feel about you read. Okay. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In love. Okay. So, Libra, as you can see, you know, I didn't shuffle, didn't pull your cards already. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share my videos. Um, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos and resonating with them so well. You know, thank, thank you so much, Libras. You have shown me lots of love, and I appreciate it, okay? All right, Libras, let's see. So... How do they feel? So I asked, what do they what do they want to tell Libras? Okay. Um and the card I pulled was Divine Order. Okay. It says everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and understand the divine order. Okay. Understand the underlying order here, okay? So, you know, um, Libras with that card, okay, there is a need for your person to get balanced, I think, or get grounded, basically, because of uh, some past hurts they've probably been through. Um, if your person is just getting out of a relationship, there's a need for this person to balance head and heart, okay, because maybe they haven't healed yet, okay, from a past hurt. Okay, so right now, it's kind of like, they're in the beginning of the healing stages, okay, Libras? So, then I pulled the Romance Angel card. I asked the same question. What would Libra's partner want them to know, okay? And they want you to know to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? So they just want you to know, to stay optimistic, you know. They're just handling some things right now within themselves. And they will get right to you, okay? Divine order, divine timing. So, I started, you know, getting your cards together, you guys. And um, this is a how do you, how do they feel about Libras? Read, okay? So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Their first card was Wheel of Fortune, okay? So, the wheel is turning, okay? Um, and it looks to me that it's turning in their favor, okay? Because Libras, I think they want to come in. No, I know. They want to come in and uh, start a brand new passion, a creative endeavor with you, okay? With the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, they definitely... This is a faded event. This is supposed to happen, okay, Libras? Okay, um, but this person had to bring order into their lives or get some type of order into their lives before they can actually, you know, offer you something. But for some of them, they have gotten things together, okay? Um, and they definitely want to come in with the offer with the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, something passionate, creative. You know, uh, this person definitely has a lot of passion for you, okay? Because at the bottom of the Romance Angel deck, they have the passion card, okay? This person is definitely attracted to you. They actually probably want to come in and have some type of uh, romantic situation with you, uh, some kind of relations, okay? But um, Libra also... So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag, okay? But they also want to bring you... A gift okay something tangible this is like the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is a gift okay they might want you to come live with them i'm hearing come live with them okay um or this could be a ring okay they're thinking about buying you okay libras or something that's tangible, something that you can hold, something that you can touch, something that you can keep forever. Okay, Libras, this person definitely wants to offer you something that you can keep forever, like ever and ever. Okay, and um, they probably are going to communicate this to you. Okay, with the ace, well, I'm sorry, the page of wands. Okay, so this is like a message coming in, okay, to you guys. If it hasn't came in yet, it will be. Okay, and this they're going to talk about, you know, 
them working on something with you. You could be dealing with a, a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But they definitely would like to work with you, okay? You have the judgment card here. Once again, this is divine timing, divine order. Another divine order card there with the will, okay? This is a faded event. This is supposed to happen. So this person coming back, working together with you, okay, is definitely, or they, they definitely could be working on their finances, trying to recover from a loss as well financially. But this is definitely um, them coming in, okay? And then they want to offer you the Ten of Cups, okay? <laughs> The Ten of Cups, all right? You know, the Ten of Cups is like, you know, the happy life, happy wife, okay? Remember that ring? <laughs> okay, so this person definitely wants to like to have a family with you. They see, you know, having a family with you, okay? Um, But they definitely want to, uh, or this person you could have a family with already, okay, Libras? But... This is what they're doing, okay? And they're coming in pretty fast with the Ace of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. I'm calling everything, everything that it ain't, you know? But the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords is definitely them speaking their truth. And it's truthful communication that they definitely want to give you this Ten of Cups. They definitely do, okay? If you guys were together and y'all broke up, they definitely, with their judgment card, want to resurrect the situation and actually work with you. And actually probably offer you something tangible, something that you can hold, you know, um, and they want to start a brand new passionate creative endeavor with you and the will of fortune is on their side to do this. Okay. Now, mm -mm, what is hidden from you? Okay. Libras or what they are trying to hide or what they are hiding from you. Okay. Is that they are feeling backstabbed and portrayed right now. Okay. Libras. Uh, with the Ten of Swords. All right. So someone may have betrayed them in the past. Okay. By giving to two. Okay. Maybe they found this out. Okay. And they decided to wait for something new. Okay. Libras. And they want to wait for their own happiness. Okay. Or they're waiting for their ships to come in. Okay. And it's like, listen, I'm, I'm waiting for my ships to come in so that I can be happy, you know, and have that balance that I need. Okay. Um, or this person could have been given to two in the past. Okay. Um, but they've been waiting to come into you. They've been waiting to come to you and offer you something. Okay. Um, but you have the seven of swords okay they have the seven of swords so maybe they someone was being sneaky in the past with them or someone that they dealt with uh there was some type of sneakiness sneaky behavior some type of player energy in and out energy okay um but this person is definitely sneaking away to get their happiness and they're waiting for something else something that's more equal give and take for them okay um they could have been dealing with a fire sign leo aries or a sag Okay, I have the Leo card here with the sun. All right, um, so if you know this already about this person, that's good, you know, but um, I don't see that they're doing this to you. Okay, Libras. So I don't feel as though this person is going to be given to two at all. This is something that they're like, that's in them. Okay, and that somebody that hurt them did this. Okay. And, you know, this person may, you know, just, you know, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to be happy with this son because the son is like right there. Okay. Or something, they, pro something, excuse me, may have gotten illuminated with this son. Okay. And that somebody was being sneaky and being a player. Okay. So maybe they haven't told you this. Okay. You know, they could have been waiting, you know for this person to admit their wrongs that they were given it to, you know, but they're basically feeling backstabbed and betrayed right now. So give this person some time Libras because this person is definitely healing right now. Healing is definitely needed for this person because somebody was definitely uh, playing mind games with them. Okay. Now their obstacles is them becoming the emperor. Okay. 
the emperor. So it could be dealing with a, a Aries or a Taurus. But the emperor is an independent contractor, CEO, you know, um, basically someone that runs their own businesses, okay? But also the emperor takes charge, okay? The emperor is in charge, okay? And that is an obstacle for them, okay? To get in charge, okay? To be take charge of a situation and walk towards you, Libras, okay? I, and I don't feel as though them walking away from something, you know, um, they're trying to take charge here. Because I already feel like, you know, they did walk away from somebody, okay? But this is their obstacle, is them coming towards you, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they're trying to use their intuition right now about the situation, this King of Pentacles, okay? Uh, they could be an older earth sign, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, okay? This person is trying to use their intuition here, Okay? And figuring out, like, how can I become either this King of Pentacles or this Emperor, okay? The King of Pentacles is a very well-grounded and stable individual, okay? And maybe they're seeing that they need to be grounded and stable, okay, in order to work with you, okay? Or order for something to work, okay? Working together with someone, okay? They want to work together with you. They do. But their heart is broke, Okay? This is an obstacle for them. A broken heart from a third party situation. This King of Pentacles heart is broken and they're trying to use their intuition here to walk towards you and be the emperor. Okay. Now, if this, this, like I said, this person needs to heal. Okay. With the four of, um, the four of swords. Okay. Energy definitely needs to be, they need healing. Okay. For sure. That's why they want you to know, just stay optimistic. You know, right now they could be going through something or whatever. They could be also having some type of financial problems and it's breaking their heart or, you know, um, definitely I'm feeling like they're feeling left out in the cold as well. Maybe they got kicked out of the home, something like that. But <sighs> This person is just, just, just trying to get grounded at this point. You know, um, they just went through a whole bunch of BS with a player. Okay. Um, Libras, this could even be your energy. Okay. But this person definitely, uh, if they were a player with you, okay, they know that they have to come back in the right way. They know they have to come back in and give you what you deserve because as I was shuffling your uh, romance angel cards, you deserve love. I seen it like 50 times when I was parting the cards. So they know that the, you really deserve real love. Okay, Libras. Now, as your outcome, okay, this person is going to, it's like, listen, I'm going to think logically here. They're thinking logically now. Okay. As the outcome, they're going to think logically about a situation. Okay. The King of Cups is a logical thinker. He's not that emotional, okay? So if this person, if you're dealing with a person that's not that emotional, Libras, that's fine, you know? Because um, that doesn't mean that they don't have love in them, okay? You know, um, they're just more of a mental than a, a heart-filled type of person. And everybody has different love languages, Libras, okay? So I need y'all to remember that. But this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, you know, he want, he's a logical thinker, okay? And he knows you are wish fulfillment, okay? He knows you are wish fulfillment. You're definitely wish fulfillment to this person, okay? And they would love, once again, the star. You have three cards on this board that is saying this is a faded, you know, gift from God type of energy. This is something that you have been waiting for, Libras, or someone that you have been waiting for, okay? It could be an Aquarius, but the star is that they feel as though, you know, like I want to give Libra everything, you know, because Libra is wish fulfillment and they will be getting in their chariot and coming towards you. They could be at a distance from you right now, emotionally or physically. Okay. But they will be coming in the car to bring you something. Okay. Definitely. Okay. And they're going to bring you this cup of love. Okay. With the Knight of Cups, you know, the Knight of Cups is a very loving, caring type of energy. Okay. They're going to come in as the Knight of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Cups, like, you know, like I said, it's loving, caring stuff, okay? But strength, they're just needing the strength right now, okay? 
to deal with these obstacles. Okay. This is their I this is what they're going to do, Libras. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. If you're like, oh, they didn't come, they didn't call me yet, that's fine. You're in Mercury retrograde. That's fine. Okay, because you don't want nobody coming in and real fast and then not offering you anything. Okay. But this person is definitely needing strength to heal their heart. Okay. But this is definitely soulmate twin flame energy. Okay. So Libras, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Think positive. Okay. You see divine order. Okay. Divine order is at work or at play here right now, Libras. And so just think positive. Okay, you guys. Um, thank you so much. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share my videos and definitely hit the like button and get so you can get notifications you know uh well the bell so that you guys can get notifications when i post you guys' videos and i will talk to you later thank you so much also for all the comments okay you guys thank you bye